Our Father and our God, yes. you're the Lord. I come to you this morning because you are the Lord that sanctify me. Yes. I come to you because you're the Lord our healer. Yes. I come to you this morning because you are the Lord our provider. I come to you this morning because you're the Lord our peace. Mm -hmm. I come to you because you're the most high God. Yeah. You're the Lord our bounty. Mm -hmm. You're God almighty. Yeah. You're God who sees me. You're God over all. You're the everlasting God. Yeah. And I just come to say thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for our life. <clears throat> thank you, oh God, for filling us to the point that we are full. Amen. Thank you, O oh God, that you will never turn your back on us. Amen. Thank you, O oh God, that when we need you, mm -hmm. you are there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, O oh God, that you know what is best for us. Yeah. I thank you for your wisdom. Mm -hmm. I thank you for your provision of peace and hope through your shed blood. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I thank you for being the light of the world. Amen. And I thank you for giving us the opportunity mm -hmm. to choose light over darkness. 
Yeah. Lord, you've been good to us. Yeah. I thank you, oh Lord, for honoring us and blessing us with yeah. the gift of life. Yeah. I thank you, oh life, oh Lord, that you said in your word that we could do do all things through you. Lord, and you amen. let us know, you made it clear in your word that apart from you, we can do nothing. Amen. So I come just to say thank you, Lord. Amen. I thank you for our strength. I thank you for our life today. Mm -hmm. I thank you that we are able to be here in this meeting today. Amen. Lord, you've been good to us. And have mercy, my Lord. And then, Lord, I ask you to touch those that are struggling this morning. I ask you to touch those that are unemployed right now, Lord. I ask you to touch those that are sick this morning, Lord. I know that you got all power in your hand. I know that you can do anything but fail. And I'm glad that you are our Savior this morning, Lord. So, Lord, I'm asking you to touch and watch over our kids as they're in school. Lord, and please touch the teachers, oh, Lord. God them, build a fence of protection around them, keep them safe oh Lord, because we need you in these times and I know you got all power to do it Lord, I know we can do it through you oh Lord, so I'm asking you to watch over us Father, please sir, touch our neighborhood please Lord, with all the violence that is going on in this world Lord please touch and keep us safe oh Lord, please Yes. Guide this country, oh Lord. Yes, sir. Bless this country. Yes. Guide it in the right way. We should go, Lord. Yes. Yes. Please. Mm -hmm. Bless this church family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bless the pastor. Mm -hmm. Bless each and every member. Mm -hmm. yes. Those who might be sick and who on the sick list. Yes. Please, Lord. Yes. Take care of them, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Please let them know that they can continue to look to you. Mm -hmm. They can look up to the hill from which their help comes from. Mm -hmm. And your word let me know that all our help. Yeah. Everything comes yeah. from you, oh Lord. Well, so I say thank you. Thank you. Because you've been good to us. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Lord. Thank you. And forgive us. Yeah. Forgive us for our sins. Mm -hmm. We made mistakes. Well, we done did wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. So please, sir, please. forgive us. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I ask you, if it's in your power, I ask you to end this virus, oh Lord. Yeah. Well, Please, Lord. Yeah. Nobody can do it but you. Yeah. Nobody can end it but you, Lord. Well, so I'm asking you, oh Lord, please end it. Well, please, sir. Yes. We need you right now. Well, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And thank God. Accepting the Lord's call. Amen. Accepting the Lord's call. 
Now, we may begin this message by saying that we are living in critical times. Yeah. Things are happening around us. Sickness is here, sickness is there. Fires and storms just keep on coming our way. And if you have not accepted the Lord's call, it's in time. Because as the old church used to say, it is getting late in the evening. Mm -hmm. This lesson is centered around a man by the name of Saul of Tarsus. Saul was an arch persecutor of the Lord and all of his father. Amen. Saul later had a change in life and became a great follower of the Lord. Saul uh, was this type of person that whatever he went into, he gave it his all. And that's the way we need to be as Christians. When we serve the Lord, we need to give it our all. Amen. In fact, Paul became a great apostle in the world in which we are living. As time passed, Paul became a dominant servant of the Lord. For it is said by some, only oh, Jesus supersedes Paul in his dedication to the service of the Lord. All right, and when you make up your mind that you're going to serve the Lord, you ought to be willing to give him everything mm -hmm. that you got. Mm -hmm. This lesson deals with Saul confronting, confronting the Lord, or the Lord confronting himself. This is a super lesson on conversion, that men can be changed. Amen. And, and, and I, I don't care what you've done, if you want to, you can be changed. Well, because the lesson teaches us, Paul did some stuff, y'all, mm -hmm. and all of it was not nowhere near right, but he was able to make a change. And if Paul made a change, then People like you and I can make changes today. Well, but you got to want to make that change up. Somebody ought to say amen. Okay? Amen. And as we begin to look into this lesson and look at some of the things that this lesson shares with us, the first point comes from verses 1 and 2. That point is, Paul had a former life. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Paul had a former life. Some of us in the church today try to pretend we have never done anything wrong. Well, I mean, to tell you, all of us have done some wrong. Yes. All of us have gone some places we didn't have no business done going. Mm -hmm. We have done some stuff we didn't have no business done. But there are some in the church. We may like we've been here all of our life. Thank you. And we talk to others and we make it sort of hard for others to come over on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. And we start talking about doing wrong. You hear somebody say, well, well, honey, I ain't never done all that. No, you ain't never done all that. But you've done something. Amen. And if the truth be told, some of that what others are doing, you wanted to do it, but you couldn't do it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we got to be real on this journey that we're traveling. Well, by being real, that might encourage someone else to come over on the Lord's side. And there's somebody that needs to come over on the Lord's side. Let folk know that you have not always been in the church. Let folk know that you might have been in the church, but your mind was not always on doing the right thing and serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. Some went to church, but it was just a way of recreation, y'all. Well, some, some just went to get something to talk about the next yeah, week, y'all. Yeah, mm -hmm. Here in this lesson again, Paul had done some things. Mm -hmm. He had anger, and he wanted to destroy the Lord's church and the followers of the Lord. Mm -hmm. In fact, the scripture says he hunted down. Those that were serving the Lord and those that were carrying on the church, he hunted them down and slaughtered them. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all, y'all, that's a little tough there. Yes, sir. Amen. But now, let's stop, stop just pointing our finger at Paul. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to point our fingers at our Savior. Amen. Because some of us have done some tough stuff, y'all. But when you go on and read about Paul some more, you find out he volunteered. Yes, to go out and to destroy the church of God. He volunteered. Uh -huh. And he didn't care whether it were men, women, boys, or girls. He didn't want, didn't want nobody serving the Lord. Amen. And whether y'all believe it or not, 
We still got some hogs around us. Yes, sir. We still got some folks that want to destroy others, y'all. Yes, sir. And I did it tell you, you can't make a change and come over on the Lord's side. Well, listen at Romans 3 and 23. For all have seen mm -hmm. and come short of the glory of God. Well, Notice how it didn't say some. Mm -hmm. It said for all have seen. Mm -hmm. All of us have made some mistakes and done some wrong things. Mm -hmm. All of us been some sorrows in our lives, y'all. But you never get too late. Mm -hmm. Come over on the Lord's side as long as the blood is running warm in your back. Amen. Then point number two. At times, the Lord will shine his light on you. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. At times, the Lord will shine his light on you. That is in verse number uh, three. Paul going down Damascus Road. Mm -hmm. There was a light that will shine from heaven. Note, when that light shined from heaven, Paul was out. To destroy belief. Amen. To, act to kill God's children. Yes, sir. The devil mission has not changed. Well, well. The devil is still around us and he's still out to destroy the children of the Lord, Amen. Amen. But we got to keep our eyes on the Lord, y'all, and let him not destroy us, y'all. Let us not get caught up in all of these things that are going on mm -hmm. that are not right, y'all. And it says, the scripture says, Light appeared suddenly, and that light fell on Saul of Paul. It fell mm -hmm. on. It was not expected. He, he was not expecting something like this to happen. This is the way the Lord works, y'all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he touches us, and we are not expecting him to touch us, y'all. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad to report to you that he let his light shine on Paul. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says, as his light shined, it was brighter than the noonday sun. Well, I'm here to tell somebody today, mm -hmm. when the Lord shines in your light, you can see the light, y'all. Yes, sir. Y'all yeah, yeah, don't hear what I'm saying. I said, when the Lord light shines, so you can see the light, y'all. All right, preacher. You, you cannot hide the light of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the light was so bright, it was so strong, it knocked Paul down on the ground. And as he's down on the ground, Paul, I can only imagine, began to think about that he had lived a different life. But now something has happened to him that now he finds himself on the ground. Well, Not only does he find himself on the ground, but later on he finds himself, he's blind, y'all. Mm -hmm. I need to tell somebody, the Lord got a way of giving you a chance. Yes, sir. Yes, Whether sir. we come over on the Lord's side or not, it's left up to us, y'all. Mm -hmm. But the Lord has a way of giving our attention and letting us know when we're wrong, y'all. Mm -hmm. And when you find out that you're wrong, you need to come over on the Lord's side. Well, God has to shine in a man's heart for a man to be saved. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. God has to shine in a man's heart for a man to be saved. Well, and all I can say, I got your testimony, y'all. One day He shined in my life, yes, sir. and I made a change in my life. Yes, sir. If He shines in your life. You will make a change. Well, if, he has, if he has already shined in your life, you already made a change. Listen at John 1 and 4. In him was life, and life was the light of me. Mm -hmm. If you want life, you got to get it from the Lord. Mm -hmm. What else do we see in this lesson? The third point is Paul had a confrontation with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Paul had a confrontation with the Lord. In verses 4 and 5, it tells us about this confrontation. Mm -hmm. Listen at some of the things that I mentioned there. Paul heard a voice speaking to him, yes. but he did not see no voice. Yes. He heard a voice that was speaking. Somebody was talking to him. And guess what? Paul was the only one that heard the voice. Well, Others heard sound, but they didn't hear the voice of the Lord, y'all. Mm -hmm. All I'm telling you, when the Lord gets ready to talk to you, he talks to you, y'all. Amen. Amen. Whether you accept it or not, the Lord talks to you. And as the Lord talked to Paul, he called him by his name. He called him Saul. Saul by name. Mm -hmm. Now, there's 
there's a reason that the Lord called Saul by name. All right. One of those reasons is he didn't want nobody else to get confused if they heard him and understood. Well, well. Not only that, but he wanted to let Paul know that I know you, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I see what you're doing, and I've been looking at that, and I've been noticing. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that I know you, sir. All right. Preacher. The Lord knows every one of us, y'all. I don't care what kind of life you live. The Lord knows us, y'all. Mm -hmm. If you're living a good life, the Lord knows that, y'all. Mm -hmm. If you're living a righteous life, the Lord knows that too, y'all. Mm -hmm. But He called Paul or Saul by name, mm -hmm. and something else this shows by calling him by name. He's calling him by name to let him know. Paul, I know you and I love you today. Amen. And I need to tell somebody the Lord still loves every one of us. Even if we have not come over on his, on his side, the Lord still loves us today. And I need to tell you, when the Lord calls your name, it's a terrible thing to turn your back on the Lord. Well, Paul wanted now to begin to listen to the mm -hmm. voice that was going on. Jesus let Paul know, you are in danger. Mm -hmm. I need to tell somebody today, if you ain't made a decision in your life to come over on the Lord's side, you are in danger also. All right, preacher. And I need to tell you, time is winding on down. Uh -huh. We don't have as long as we used to have, y'all. We need to hear the voice of the Lord and let the light come in our heart and make a change, y'all. All of us can make a change. I don't care who you are. You can make a change in your life. Yes, sir. Don't let it be said that you waited too late. Mm -hmm. If we do not know the Lord, then you're walking in danger. If you don't know the Lord, you're dealing with something that is not right, y'all. And then in this verse down, it says, it's hard to kick against the truth, y'all. When the truth comes, it's hard for you to turn your back on the truth, y'all. You might do it, but it's hard to do, y'all. Because we do know right from wrong mm -hmm. and doing the right thing. And when Paul heard the Lord talking to him and began to speak to him, he knew it was coming from the Lord, and he began to set himself out. And he knew what the Lord was saying to him. It was right. Mm -hmm. Whatever the Lord said to you today, it's right, y'all. All right. You might not want to hear it, but it's right, though, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I need to tell you, if you listen to it and you abide by it, the Lord will save your soul. Yes, sir. And your soul needs to be saved. Well, today. well. Then Psalm 51 and 3 says this. For I acknowledge my transgression mm -hmm. and my sins is ever before. Well. Y'all, whether we admit it or not, mm -hmm. all of us have made some mistakes. Yes, sir. And every now and then, those mistakes come back in your mind. And when you don't change and come over on the Lord's side, sometimes you start to question what you used to do. Uh -huh. Some of the things that you, Lord, why did I do that? I, I knew better than that. Yeah. But the devil is out there trying to pull you over on his side. Yes, sir. But when the Lord let his light shine in your heart, you need to make a change and come over on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. Then this lesson goes on. And point number six is Paul surrendered to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in verse number six it tells us after hearing the voice of the Lord and after the light shined around about him, Paul realized he was in trouble. Yo. Well, and I'm going to tell anybody today, if you have not accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, mm -hmm. you are in trouble today. Well, and you need to make a change and come over on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. And they said, the scripture said, Paul was trembling. He was shocked. But Paul realized that he was a sinner. Mm -hmm. When the Lord talked to you and let his light shine in your heart, then he'll let you know you are a sinner. Mm -hmm. And you realize for yourself, I have made some mistakes in life. I've done some wrong things. So Paul now, after being knocked down on the ground and the light of the Lord is shining on him, he Paul asked to now, Lord, what would you have me to do? Well, Paul needed time for prayer now. And I'm here to tell you, in order to make a decision about coming over on the Lord's side, you got to enter into a prayer life then. You got to have some praying going on uh -huh. and talking to the Lord for yourself. It's good to ask other folk to pray for you, but sometimes you got to pray for yourself, yo. 
Now, all right. So here, Paul needed some break. He needed some time to meditate and to think about what was happening to him and what had happened to him. He needed to talk to somebody. And I'm glad that the Lord got somebody that will talk to you down the road. Amen. And the Lord told him, you just go on down there. There's going to be somebody down there that's going to come and they're going to minister to you. God still got the folk that are a minister to you. You don't have to be a preacher to minister to folk, y'all. You can read your Bible, study your Bible, and tell them, thus saith the Lord. You don't have to be a preacher to do it. Amen. And I'm glad that the Lord had somebody mm -hmm. for Paul to talk to. Mm -hmm. First John 4 and 15 said this. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, mm -hmm. God dwelleth in him, and he in God. Mm -hmm. But you got to let him come in. You got to let him come in. And the fifth point in this lesson is, lastly, Paul is obedient to the Lord. Paul's eyes were closed for three days, mm -hmm. and he went on down into the masters that the Lord had somebody mm -hmm. down there for Paul to talk to. He had somebody to give him some comfort and to, to sort of put the icing on the cake. This is what you need to do, Paul. You've done this in the past, but you need to make a change in your life. I'm glad that the Lord still got folk that you can talk to that's going to be real and give you real information about serving the Lord. Amen. And I even tell you sometimes, honey, it ain't easy serving the Lord. You're going to be talked about. You're going to be called everything but a child of God. But you make that decision and come over on the Lord's side. Well, well. And when you come over on the Lord's side, it's going to pay off in the end, y'all. Yes, sir. Because one of these days, you will hear the Lord say, well done, thy well done. good and faithful servant. All right. And please keep in your mind, we didn't come here to stay on this earth forever and forever and ever. We got to leave here. Mm -hmm. Think about it, y'all. We got family members that have left here. We got friends that are left here. Mm -hmm. And if they left, what about you and I? All right. All we right. got to leave here. Mm -hmm. But we got to make sure that everything is all right between us and the Lord before he calls us home, y'all. Right. And if he calls you home and everything is all right, you ain't got to worry then, y'all. You ain't got to cry then, y'all. Because you have made everything all right between you and the Lord. Amen. All I'm glad to report to you today is that Paul saw the light. Mm -hmm. And he made a change in his life. And if Paul saw the light and the kind of life he was living beforehand, and he made a change. Well, that gives us confidence that we can make a change. Yes, sir. And I need to let all of us know that we need the Lord, y'all. Mm -hmm. The Lord does not need us today, mm -hmm. but we need the Lord. Because mm -hmm. we need somebody that will be a battle light in the time of battle. Well, we need somebody to feed you when you're hungry. Yeah. We need somebody to wipe the tears from your eyes. Uh -huh. And if you come over on the Lord's side, you'll be all right. Because right? you'll be there early in the morning. Right? And you'll be there in the noon yeah. hour. Right? And God in heaven knows you'll be there in the midnight hour. Right? Yeah. But you got the name come in your heart right? and take control, y'all. Right? You just say come in right? and you accept in the day. Right? Everything will be all right. right? I didn't say you wouldn't have some trouble. Right? But everything will be all right. Yeah. If Paul could come today, he'll tell you, he'll make a way out of no way. He'll be a friend for you. But you got to let him come in All right. in your life. When that light shines your way, mm -hmm. you just open up your heart yeah. and let the Lord come in. Mm -hmm. And if you open up, mm -hmm. the Lord will come in and he will make a way. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Eternal Father, we come now. Thank you for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. We come thanking you for Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. for you giving him to us and letting us learn it from him. Mm -hmm. And let us, Father, admit that we are all sinners. Mm -hmm. We are all made some mistakes. We are come short. Forgive us now of our sins and accept us as our sinners. Mm -hmm. Bless us, Father, however you see fit. Mm -hmm. Just bless mankind everywhere. Because yeah. again, Father, we got things going on in our world that yeah. we don't have no control of. But, Father, you still sitting on the throne mm -hmm. and still got all power in your hands. Father, we ask that you just bless us. 
the sickness that is among us. We ask that you bless the sick, Father. Those that are down and out, we ask that you lift them up. Just bless everybody, Father. Because we stand in need of a blessing, Father. And be with us. And Father, as we go forward, we ask that you protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Let's be there for us, Father. And we're going to praise your name because you're worthy to be praised. In your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. And again, we offer membership here at Temple Grove and stand here. If you either one of the churches you are interested in joining, just get in contact with me. Or if you're interested in joining any church, I'll give you the information that you need to make that connection. Because, y'all, we are living in serious time. Amen. Time is winding on down. Mm -hmm. So you need to make that commitment. And today, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus Christ go and abide with you wherever you go. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Amen.